Now to a CBS2 investigation. If a trip using Illinois toll roads is on your schedule this holiday season, be prepared for sticker shock. That's because of the fees if you miss paying any of those tolls. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker discovered recently implementing lower fees are hurting drivers, but not hurting the tollways bottom line. This tollway tell begins with Karen Ford at the wrong airport. I had to hurry up and get to O'Hara where I should have been. So I jumped on the tollway. It's been a minute since Ford was on the toll roads, so when she got here, she found something she hadn't seen before. No way to pay cash. In the past... I would um, have my little money ready and either hand it to a person or throw it in a little basket and keep on going. It had been like this for decades, but when COVID hit, Toll workers and coin catchers vanished and haven't returned. I just said, no, you know, keep going where you pay, you can pay online. Robin so was Martin like, well, was also surprised. She recently moved back to Illinois and wasn't aware of the new rules of the road. There was nowhere to stop, you know, to pay the cash. Nowhere along the Illinois tollway, but at the privately owned Chicago Skyway. How much? 580. 580. As travelers cross into Indiana, the old rules still apply. People are used to the old system. So Transportation expert Joe Sweeterman says the tollway switch from paying in person to paying online has hit some speed bumps. I think the best of intentions here just put a lot of motorists in a tough spot if they're not used to that uh, online payment system. The Illinois Tollway argues there are signs everywhere that tell drivers to pay online and warn them they've got 14 days to pay. So do you remember seeing the sign that said, pay online? Frankly, no. <laughs> I don't. And I'm doing 55. <laughs> and I, I really didn't deal with what it was saying. Martin admits seeing the signs, but... Then I'd realize, you know, they're going to send a bill. <laughs> it won't be long before I get a bill in the mail. It didn't take long for Martin and Ford to get the bills, but when they came... I was, frankly, kind of pissed. <laughs> What upset Ford was an unexpected charge on the bill because there's no warning that failure to pay in 14 days prompts pesky fees. On August 14th, unpaid toll is 60 cents with a $3 fee. That's more than four times the original toll. It was like $3, you know, each one, and that adds up. Martin and Ford aren't the only ones sounding off. We found a constant stream of complaints on the Tollway's Facebook page. Drivers griping about not being able to pay in cash, the new online payment system, and those extra fees. And another one for $1.50 with a $3 fee. When you add it up, Ford missed $3.60 in tolls, got slapped with $9 in additional invoice fees, and now owes $12.60. But it's even worse for Martin, who took 19 trips on various tollways over a six-month period. I must get at least, you know, 10 or 15 bills. Bills that revealed fee after fee after fee. If I don't pay the fees, and then I get more fees. Adding up to big balances due. $32, $48, this one's $77.20. In all, for $92 in missed tolls, Martin is charged $250 in fees. I mean, that's just overwhelming. Like, who wants to pay all that? But there is an alternative, and it comes from the state Martin used to call home, Texas. But they give you like 30 days to pay it. Here's how it works in the Lone Star State. Texas sends out a first invoice with no extra fee attached. If you don't pay that, then you get a second one with a flat $10 fee. No pylon like we have in Illinois. Why can't Illinois do it the Texas way? We didn't get an answer to that question, but what we discovered is there's little incentive for Illinois to change. It comes down to money. When cash was an option, the fee for missed toll was $20 a pop. When the cash option disappeared, the fees dropped to $3, and the tollway could boast it was looking out for drivers. But according to the records the CBS2 investigators obtained, the lower fee is not hurting the agency's bottom line. It made $86 million from June 2020 through October of this year because more drivers had to pay. I didn't miss a toll. I didn't have any alternative in the moment. 
And get this, department heads confirm the tollway is on track to take in as much money this year as it did in 2019 when the fees were much higher. Martin eventually bought an iPass. I'm hoping that it's working and that they, uh, they're not incurring any fees, you know. So <laughs> I don't want to, you know, wake up and see more bills. We asked the tollway if cash lanes would ever return. The answer was evasive and not definitive. So we'll keep watching. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. A tollway spokesperson reached out to us saying they have switched permanently to cashless tolling. To read more about the tollway stand on this, go to the CBS2 Investigator section of the CBS Chicago app.